What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today we have Gabriel Enrique. I'm saying it the right way because he's Brazilian and that's how he pronounces it. He, for the first time, sang on AGT. It was his first time in America. I've reacted to him before, but I'm very proud to see him get all the way to America on AGT. Let's listen to his performance right now. This is my first time watching this. I've saved it for you guys. I know how good of a singer he is, though. He's nervous. I can hear him huffing and puffing all the way over Aww. He's nervous. He says that he doesn't speak English. I mean, it's the voice of an angel, really. Ooh, killing it. Coming out strong. Nice switch from chest to head there. Mm, love that little riff there on C. You would only think that you can hear his accent I thick, thick instead of take. My heart, you Gorgeous. It's, a, it's like a one note yodel there, actually. Oh, Healthy vibrato, strong. nice and fast and even. Can't you see the heart of me? Mm. I feel so alone. Before we get to the chorus, and I know you want to get there, you need to understand something that makes his voice special. There is a vocal sparkle, I said it, about his voice when he does wide mouth vowels. Can't you see the head in me? When he does especially wide mouth as, there's a sparkle. It's almost like his voice has been mastered in real time inside of his larynx before it comes out of his mouth. And it's this vocal sparkle that is innate to him. It's bright. If sound is seen, I see sparkles when I hear him sing those types of vowels. Let's listen one more time, see if you can see the sparkle. Sparkling. Here we go. See what he does. There it is. He is a master at that registerical change. So much control of his head voice. What? Hello. Sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle! Sparkling! So much sparkling! <laughs> so happy for him right now. Okay, all right, all right. Guess what he just did? He just hit a B flat five and went all the way to an F six. That is an octave and a fifth, ladies and gentlemen, not just from an octave and a fifth in one register. He did an octave and a fifth from chest to whistle, skipping head in between. Where my fears. <laughs> That's hard for me to do, okay? Okay? Just flying up there. Yes, Stan. <laughs> Here's the dirty little secret about all that you just heard, okay? When someone is good at whistle, it is an actual vocal break. And I don't mean vocal break like it's a registerical break, okay? Although it is its own register. What I mean is it's a rest. Like he, he's been belting, this is a belty song. It takes a lot to lift the weight of belt. And when you're a good whistler, it's really impressive for the audience, but it's actually, other than needing to pay attention to the accuracy of the notes, it's a vocal rest for the registers that you've been using all this time. So it's a huge bonus for anybody that can learn to whistle because it's so impressive for the audience. Notice that's when he got the standing ovation. And yet he's just like kind of skating up there in the rafters. Dimash does the same thing, especially for men who can do this. It's extra impressive. I mean, I know I can hit those notes, but it's, it's impressive, but I'm a girl. So it's sort of like, well, yeah, you're a girl. This dude has such full control over his upper register into his whistle that he can access that and use it as like a little rest time for his chest voice. Genius! Gorgeous breath in that. Chest head, breathy head. Such healthy vibrato. He's like continuing, like, I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. <laughs> Woo! Sophia's like, oh, God. 
You gotta look at that. Just, just look at that. Don't click off. Just look at this. He deserves you to see this. Incredible. It's true. First time in the United States. Listen, as a singer who comes from obscurity, like growing up in a family who listens to you sing and you have a dream and you continue to work that dream and you continue to build and nurture that dream and the audience grows from your couple brothers and sisters if you have any, to your parents, to small family gatherings, to maybe church performances, to maybe then local shows, lots of local shows, then regional shows, and then getting to a place where you go out of your country to another land that you've never been to in front of thousands of people and then televised. What a dream. What a real dream. And all it takes is belief in yourself to make those dreams come true. And we want to help you at Tara Simon Studios do that for free, by the way. If you want a free 15 minute assessment of your voice, all you have to do is click the link in the description box and schedule it. There are no catches. We want to help you realize your dreams and we're putting our time where our mouth is. Now, if you've just fallen in love with Gabriel or if you know him and just cannot get enough of him, then you will love this next video of him. Click on it next.